-hmm. It was the first like, you know, five minutes. I scared myself so bad, I sent my own bra askew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and How did you do yeah, that? Well, Sinister too. I have no idea. And so like based on the amount of padding in my bra, I literally scared my own tits off with this movie. <laughs> wow. Can you, I, I still need some, can I, you put I that still on need the poster? some. <laughs> It'll scare your tits off. <laughs> Uh, let's get ready for bed. Can we just watch till the next commercial? Oh, come on. I don't like it when you boys watch stuff like that before bed, okay? So let's go, come on. It's not real, Mom. It's okay if it's not real. So, when you guys were kids, which was the scary movie that left the biggest impression on you? Freddy Krueger. Uh, Ooh, Nightmare on the, Elm Nightmare Street. Nightmare on Elm Street, totally. yeah. Yeah, and I, I was asking PJ earlier, like, were those even good? I don't I don't know, it didn't even matter. I just saw them way too young, and, Fred, and it worked. Freddy Krueger. One and two, I think, are really scary. The rest of them get less scary, yes, you're right. Well, right. yeah, because it's they show the villain more and more. And well, I mean, I feel like his knife hands are the reason that I have trouble chopping vegetables to this day. Like, I have mm. a real knife aversion because of him. But it's got a young Depp in it. So that's side. what stayed with you, huh? That's what you think about when you're laying in bed alone at night. My thing was uh, the the Exorcist. Oh, and, oh yeah. And uh, my parents had a Ouija board, and it was from the 70s. So the old Parker Brothers covers, they're really crazy. It was this cloaking man. They had it like propped up in the, you know, like somewhere in our basement, and I couldn't <laughs> walk past it after I saw The Exorcist, because that's Gosh. how she like conjured that spirit. And, and that's the connection. The original Bagul is on your Ouija board box. Mm. That's right.